Spring Lafay Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. And I got two new decks. I want to show you. This one is um, Everyday Witch Oracle. They are by the same person. I want you to look at that. Beautiful. Look at this. The kitty cats. Beautiful. Okay, and then we've got um, the tarot. Gorgeous. Everyday witch by the same um, same person. So we are going to use those today and just see what we get for you. Okay, put the oracles over here and. Uh, As y'all know, I pre-shuffle, so yeah. Cleared the energy off the cards. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay. Three of Swords. <clears throat> Broken Heart. This is like a journal. It's, it's almost a feeling of looking back. But I am drawn to... How uh, the raven is at the window in the distance. You know, this has a feel of um, give it to God. Let go. You know, don't allow uh, the past to hold you hostage or hurt you. Um, whether, you know, you made mistakes, they made mistakes. You know, it's, it's time to forgive yourself, forgive the other person. Um, whatever you need to do. And free your heart. Poor Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What else, Spirit? What else? May we know? May we know? Restless. A restless heart. It feels like. Someone maybe not sleeping good. But, I want you to look. We got the full. We've got zero. We've got starting fresh. So, it's like someone deals with their broken heart. And then they have this new beginning. Um, it's starting over. You know. And she looks very happy about it. It's, it's as if she's manifested it. She's manifested this new beginning. And she's, she's finally reaching it. Four of Swords. She's done the work. She's done the healing. She's, she's put in the meditation. She's, she's worked on her skills. She's um, strengthened her own abilities and strengthened herself in, in the doing. In the so of that. Um... She's healed her heart. That's beautiful. Okay. They give us a whole little roll here, and I'm feeling them, so I'm going to take them. Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay, so it makes sense. What they're showing us is, is what this person's done. What you have done. I feel like this could be you. And what it is, is, okay, with this Page of Swords, you're seeing the truth. You're, you're, you're basically freeing yourself. You're seeing what's hurt you. No matter what it was, you're seeing 
what that was that's hurt you. You know, I see someone running away, you know, and you're seeing all of this. Nine of Swords. You've thought about it. You you've had those restless nights. You've you've you know you 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 you've had this on your heart, broken heart, uh, pain and suffering, and it's like it's time to release it. See, you you stayed trapped. You let it keep you trapped. And uh, with the Seven of Swords, you have finally picked up. You've made the, a choice. I want you to look at the two swords up here. You made the decision. You know, twos are about deciding. It's about choice. You made the, the choice to let go of that pain, to walk away from that. And now you're being gifted this new, beautiful beginning. Whoops. Ace of Swords, you're standing in your truth. You found your truth. So it's like the universe is ready to grant you this good fortune. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like once you found your truth with the Ace of Swords, you know, the truth sets you free. You know, and that, that often, you know, it's not all about everyone else. It's about a look within. It's about um, what's within ourselves. You know, I, I learned that myself. And it's like you're standing strong now. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune's here. You know, uh, fortune is on your side. Your luck's changing. Things are about to change. I am uh, drawn to that heart on there, you know. And, and I feel like this is going to affect many parts of your life. This is beautiful. Ace of Wands. So it, it's okay. It's as if you found your strength through releasing what uh, held you back. That's what I'm getting from that. Because right next to it, we've got the Ten of Wands. You see, you found your strength with releasing what was holding you back. You have um, channeled that energy. You've used that energy to help you. It feels like go from a place of um, torturing your own self to a place of, you know, you know what you want. You got all this, this love within you. And for those of you that want someone, you want romance in your life, you're manifesting it. Now, I know not all of you are, but for those of you that are, you've got a King of Cups that's going to be on your path or either is already in your life or is going to come in your life. Um, they seem kind of like they're watching you. They're just kind of sitting back. They're watching you. They're not rushing. They're going to want to communicate something with the um, Page of Wands. There's, you know, something they want to speak to you about. Now, we've got the Hierophant here. So, this person, um, they may be a teacher, or they see you as a teacher. Um, they may be at one with the universe, at one with God. They're, they're very uh, spiritual in their own sense. Um, but I'm seeing the differences card, you know, and now I'm seeing the spiritual spirituality and religion that's in the other deck. Um, there may be differences in that aspect, you know. But they're very spiritual. Very, it feels like, with this hair of all. And that's a five. That's change. Something is about to change. Get ready. You know, change is on the way. Are you ready for it? The chariot. The lovers. You know, for those of you that want romance in your life, this could be a new um, lover, a new uh, sexual partner, a new... Um, forever person you know we've got high priestess here because this is about you following your intuition you figuring out your life and you freeing yourself and letting go of control issues i'm seeing that card having the strength to manifest what you want you know not force not force you can't force it you know 
and the way that you look at things that limits how it comes in or if it comes in I mean that's that's my thoughts on it so yeah wow this is beautiful so this is like um, you take control and everything changes it's that type of feeling um, you take complete control You know, this is uh, not placing no blame. This is seeing things for what it is and moving forward with your life. Really taking control. Okay, let's take one of these. Four Aquarius. Aquarius. I have another. Oh, we got two. Okay. But there was just one and I knew there was going to be two. Okay. Meditation for creativity. So, some of you, you ha are very creative and you may not even realize it. And you need to be delving into that. You need to tap into your creativity. You need to bring it out. Um, it's going to change your life in some way. Listening to wisdom, listen to a higher power, listen to God, listen to the universe, listen to the angels. Hear what they have to say because they are speaking to you and it's very important that you listen. It's very important that you, you hear. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. This is movement forward. This is, oh my goodness, taking your life back and taking control of it and realizing that you have control. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So if you're trying to control things, let go of control issues. Allow things to unfold naturally. Um, let things happen on their own. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So that's what I have for you. If you enjoy the content that I create, do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. You know, that helps the channel to grow. It helps uh, YouTube to show it. And I appreciate each and every one of your comments. And, um, yeah. Till next time, much light and love to you. Mwah.